One Thursday morning in May, and I'm in the seaside resort of Worthing in West Sussex. I'm here to spend the day with good friend and fellow YouTuber, Richard Volks. Hello, Sean. <laughs> here we are. Just in time, the kettle is on. Righty on. In. Let's get on. Uh, milk and sugar? Yes, please. Well, just the milk. Just the milk, no sugar. No right. sugar. I've got, the, uh, I've got the cool box ready so we can go to the farm shop. We'll get straight off. I need to get some more milk. We'll get some raw milk, if you fancy it. But yes, just get the kettle. It's all just boiled, so uh, we'll get that done and we'll shoot off. Richard has been on YouTube since 2008. I first discovered his channel during lockdown as he documented his own experiences of the time. Now we come into zombie town as we see people socially distancing but queuing and it's a most, it is a most bizarre image that you would imagine to see in a Hollywood movie, not in real life people waiting, standing in a queue that is uh, very surreal, very surreal indeed. And then slowly but surely moving as one in, one out. I've not, uh, never witnessed anything quite like that before in my life. The day before my journey to Worthing, I visited my allotment garden to harvest some rhubarb. I had a bit going spare. I said I'll uh, pop some down. T home delivered, home grown, and home cooked rhubarb. I wonder what they'll do with it. It's 10.30 and the second half of the partnership arrives, the lovely Julia, who will also be making a video of the day for their own YouTube channel. I'm not sure it's going to fit. Richard has told me so much about his local farm that he took me there in his van to buy some fresh produce straight from the farmer. Hello, lovely. This is the type of life I've been craving over the last few years. Yes, I grow my own organic vegetables, but to have milk straight from the farm shop, if you want sausages or beef, you can go and get it organically, grass-fed, which is far better for you than what I see available in the supermarkets. Look, they even sell fresh food at the farm yeah. shop. So fresh. Mm. You gonna give us a bear? Mm. Click subscribe, comment and like. So so Richard and Julia were also filming for their own channel and I'll put a link to that video in the description below. We've come to the farm shop again at Charlie's farm shop which is just behind us and um, it's just over there. But we all share a desire to have our own homesteads. So will there be sheep on your farm yes. when you get your farm? If, we, if I can help it, yeah. Yeah, we'd like to. We'd like to have sheep, pigs, cows, geese. Chickens, ducks. ducks, ducks, ducks are good. As long as they stay. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we've just got to get the land. We've got to find the place, and we've got to, you know, earn the money. <laughs> yeah, we're back in a minute. Look at this bit of rusty old plough here. Show us then. I guess you'd like to be guiding it this way. With a horse in the front. Horse on the yeah. I guess, but I don't know. That lamb it wants, a, wants a few friends, I think. <laughs> His name is Mint Sauce. Mint Sauce, yeah. No, it's the fleece. <laughs> it's Fleecewood Mac. Yeah. Fleecewood Mac. Fleecewood Mac. Hello. We then went inside to Charlie's farm shop to do some shopping. Fresh eggs from the chickens this morning. Killed. Three pound fifty for that, but it's organic. Yeah. It's organic. And if people looked at food more as a medicine, then I think people we'd win. we'd all be better. Mm. And the majority of it is in season. Mm. Although when it comes to the oranges, it's not our season, but no, they're in season, season for yeah. they're in yeah. season for summer. In season for I like these boxes, the setup they've got. Mm. Very rustic. London down today. Yeah. 
Hello, friend from London. He doesn't have a name, we just call him friend from London. Sean, this is Richard. Richard, Sean. And Sean. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at the, the chickens as well. So I'm just going to decide whether I get sausages again. These steaks are divine. They are really good steaks. Mm. I'm not really into steaks. Really? Just sausages. Oh, I do love a good steak. So we've just bought some stuff from the farm shop and the trick is to bring a cool box with you. Oh, definitely. A s bring a small cool box. Or... Bring a small cool box because then you can go for a cup of tea somewhere and all the meat is still cool, obviously. So will this just last you for a week or...? Well, Julia and I, because obviously Julia lives um, in a separate world from me, <laughs> so... I buy stuff for me, but I share some of my meals with Julia when she comes over and she's got her family, so she buys for her family, but then she does, she feels sorry for the old geezer yeah. and does Meals on Wheels <laughs> from time to time. Yes, yeah, so so we pay the favours, haven't I? Yeah, so that's all your meat done. And what is that you've got there? Mm -mm -mm. Some lovely strawberry jam tarts for all of us. Jam tartlets, beautiful. And lovely. we've got sausage rolls. Sausage rolls. Sausage roll a piece. Yeah, I'm in here. So how long have you been coming now to the old farm shop? Probably about seven or eight weeks. Yeah. And have you seen there's a difference? What, in, in price? Are you health? feeling more sprightly? Because I noticed everybody had really really good skin in there. They did. They looked healthy. Yes, and, and they look wealthy as well. <laughs> <laughs> and you do, yeah, I mean, it is more costly, it's true. But as you say, Sean, and other professionals have said this as well, health professionals, you have to treat food as a medicine it, because it's organic or it's close to it. Um, the, the cows here, are they're actually out on the field behind you. They are grass fed and the grass is good quality. They, there may be some antibiotics in them, I don't know because they're not absolutely 100% yeah. organic. But you're getting, you can see the cows. Next week we'll be eating the cows in the field that we're looking at now. So, um, I feel it's healthy, don't you? Absolutely, I do, I do genuinely feel, feel better for it. Brighter, mm. more, mm. more... Now I know people will say it's a bit more expensive, but then how... It, what sort of cost do you put on your health? Exactly, it's a balance, isn't it? You've got to I balance... Th I think, yeah, it's... it's but not only that, you, eat, yeah. you work out that we often eat much more than we really need, for one thing, and if you're eating more healthily, you probably don't need all those little snackettes and things. And with the meat, I, I tend to think that you can use it. I mean, I eat a lot more vegetables, so I'm not vegetarian, but I might have two or three meat dishes, and then I'll have perhaps two or three vegetable dishes throughout the week rather than throughout, throughout, of a day. Yeah. Yeah. Not in the same day, obviously. Yeah, just establishing. <laughs> yeah. But, but you can so, still have a treat. Absolutely. Which I, is what we're going to have later yeah, we've on. Yeah, we got some nice jammed, you know. <laughs> so, I think uh, you're right. Speaking of gems, here's your change. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> there we are. That's it. So yeah, I think it's definitely worth it. And and there's, it turns the trip to go and buy food into a pleasure rather than a chore. Absolutely. We're lucky we've got the van, so we'll go off now and have a cup of tea somewhere. Oh, oh. Our, our meat is protected in the cool box. We've got some milk. We've got some raw milk if you want it. Um, raw honey. And raw honey. And we'll have um, some raw tea and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I realised about the food as a medicine because I take uh, the lemon in the morning and they say put it into some hot water and just to sip on it. But I thought let's just throw it down. So I just tend to squeeze one in the morning and just take the whole thing down. And yes, it's a bit disgusting, but after two seconds it's gone. Yeah. So people do that with like I cut, I have an issue with trying to take pills. So I can't understand how people can put poor sewer tranquilizer <laughs> type stuff in, you know. Um, and it's like what you said, spend a bit more, you don't eat as much, but then it's healthy stuff. Yeah, yeah, doing you a hell of a lot more. Mm. And you're, you're getting all the magnesium, the iodine, the, the vit minerals and vitamins that you often don't get from the supermarket stuff. Uh, but then you sort of think, well, why don't they teach this in schools? Well, tell people, you know, yeah, about... They, um, they should do, you know. It's like, if they taught it in schools, but I think the fundamental issue is that there's more money in pills than people being ill. Yeah, you're right. Like, a few years ago, when we went through the depression, 
that would have been a perfect time to get everybody Getting healthy. healthy yeah. yeah. And um, but the problem is there isn't any money in that. No. No. Yeah. Because apparently I'm in the uh, target group because I'm morbidly obese according to the scales. And I thought, right, this is a perfect, op perfect Get some opportunity. New scales. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I've actually stopped going on them now. Yeah. <laughs> but a perfect opportunity to get fit. But there was no information out there. No. No. It's not made but easy, is it? To be honest, though, fitness, I think it's just go back to the basics. Mm. You, you know, I think there's loads of diets and all of that, but just eat healthily, eat in moderation, eat quality food, and go for a walk every day. You know, if you did that, I think most people would find that their health would blossom. Mm. And then you could sort of do more and more, of course. Did you say drink plenty of water with salt? Drink plenty of water with a bit of Celtic salt. salt. Now what's the salt do? The salt takes the water into the cell. It, it helps, yeah, it helps yeah. the, gets the, the, the water into each cell. So that it gets into the blood and goes around in all the places and, and that you need, because we're 80% water. Mm. Um, and but without but, enough salt, it doesn't get absorbed properly. So you can drink and drink and drink, it's just going straight through you. It's not actually Somebody put the a comment on one of my videos years ago. She said she was a doctor, so I don't know whether she was. You've got to take it at face value. She said, when you wake up, drink some water, because you need to replenish the yep. water that you've lost Absolutely. during the night. It also kickstarts the digestive system, having a glass of water in the mm. morning. So. And also, it's like, because I've done this in the past, you go through like um, a health kick. And if you fall off, that's fine. Just get back on it. Yeah. But what I find is, like, if I have a cake now today, in the past I would say I'll start again tomorrow, but now I'm saying I'll start again on the next meal. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. It's, I, I wouldn't even think of it as starting again. Yeah. It's just no, a treat. Exactly. It's just yeah. a treat. Yeah. You're on it, and every now, I mean, if you did it every single day, mm. where you'd have you know some nice healthy veg and then half a dozen Mars bars and a, yeah. you know and cakes, okay, you're not really on the health kick at all. Yeah. No, but someone's which has been who. the problem that I've had because right. because I tend to go to. Uh, the cafes and um, and I would go to the cafe have a tea have a sandwich but then you'd sort of think I'll have a carrot cake because carrots one of your yeah, favorite carrots very, very good. <laughs> um, I can't remember who it was but someone said recently um, in one of the interviews that Richard's done is um, it's all about baby steps you know yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter how small a step you're taking as long as you're taking those steps and you know and slowly surely you refine and you know Get, get, get to your destination. Yeah. I do find coming off Inst coming off Instagram is quite good, mm. so that you don't have the constant yes, visualizations of yeah. sort of what you might perceive as being the ideal this, that the sort of body, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, but you I get there slowly. But I need to get back on my bike. I've I've got on a bike, bike mate. <laughs> and I've used it about three or four times, and um, I'm at that point where I've put the weight back on, so it's a bit difficult to get back on. And you've got an electric you know. one as well. I yes. Yeah. But that is really is that the same one? but that's really really hard because oh. when the electric stops, uh, you've got like to pay an extra heavy yes. bike, and it always seems to go off at the tiny bit of the hill just before I get home. So it goes off at the worst time. Oh. But just, just before you finish, you need the, a yeah. panel on it. Yes, I just want to go back to the salt yeah. because it's very yes. important that people um, are aware what kind of salt because table salt. Is useless. no is, is useless, and actually the caking agent to help it run smoothly is is poisonous. Right. People don't know that, so don't use ordinary table salt. The salt you want to use is either the Himalayan pink salt, which is the one that I've got, yeah, or better than that, because that's got about seventy five minerals in the salt which mm. the body needs. But better than that is the Celtic salt, um, because it's fresher. For one thing, because the Himalayan salt is up on the up yes. in the, yes. you know, where's the sea? Gosh, yeah. how long ago that <laughs> Where's the sea? So the sea's been there, but it, you know, when yeah. when the mountain moved upside down or however it got there. But Celtic salt is fresh in recent time with the sea on it. So mm. it's got something like 88 minerals on it. It's far better. And they say that black salt mm. is, is even better. better. I can't but remember that's where that's more, from. Yeah, I can't remember that. We haven't tried that yet, so I can't, I'm not endorsing yeah. black salt, but yeah. um, definitely the Celtic, Celtic, Celtic sea salt. salt. Sea salt. Mm. Um, and you don't need much. They say if you could have half a teaspoon of Celtic sea salt a day, mm. spread over the day, so a pinch, put that in your mouth, drink your then water. drink a glass of water. All right, so you don't dissolve it in the water. You can you do. Can, you do it whichever it, way you it like. It just changes the taste of the water. Yeah, if you do it, it at first the and then swell it all down, it gets into the cell, gets into the body, it gets the electrolytes going, mm. so and it reduces so many good things. And, and you're not supposed to say this, but that thing beginning with C that yeah. you're not supposed to say is a cure, it helps prevent it. Right. I think we better go off and have a 
cup of tea and a treat ourselves. We don't yeah. need a cup of tea after that. Healthy, yeah. uh, We're going to find a nice location now in the sun. Nice, nice and healthy, strawberry organic tart. strawberry tarts. Yes, you like a good tart. After the farm shop, we went for a drive down some traditional English country roads when all of a sudden Richard got recognised by one of his viewers. No, we actually just thought we'd come in and have a cup of tea in the van. Oh, we've okay. just been up to the farm shop at Ferry, Charlie's, and we thought, let's have a cup of tea. Where's someone else? This is um, Sean from London. Right. Hello. And um, we thought we'd take him to a nice rural place, and we're better. Hello. And then all vans and everything yeah. turn up. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we're going to go down to the green somewhere and have a quick cup of tea. Yeah, take care. All the best. Have a good day. It's all go here, isn't it? And they say that village life is quiet. Thank you. Did you know that guy? Or was he just um, a viewer? He's a viewer, yeah. <laughs> no idea. We arrived in a beautiful village called Slindon, where we set up the van in order to have a cup of tea and to enjoy these stunning surroundings. So here we are. This is what you call the countryside. Once I throw my camera on the floor, just listen to that peace and quiet. So what's the history of this place then? Does anybody know? Yes, well, um, it's supposed to be one of a number of places that claim that they are the birthplace of cricket, but you'll find a lot of villages around claim that they are the birthplace of cricket. And it could be that a game like cricket was played here, as in a lot of other places. So in a way, they're probably right, but the game could have just different versions of a similar game. Pudding club, that sounds like the type of club I need to be in. <laughs> no, 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 not with your new diet no. regime. Absolutely not. But just look at that peace and quiet. You mean the Sindon plodding club has got the right? Pudding. Oh, plodding, plodding. <laughs> Any one of these buildings, that's to me, is, that's how I'd love to live in a little, what would have in the old days been a humble building, now it's probably worth a minute. With all the fields around. And if I'm correct, this is a stone that was used in the windmills in order to grind the corn. You can see the grooves there. From what I understand, it makes a really fine flour. Wonder where this lane this little path takes us. Maybe it's all the way down by the field. I'm not going to do the whole thing because we're going to have a cup of tea now. But uh, what's this? There's a sign here. What does that say? Use and lambs ahead. Well, we better leave them to it. But it's that peace and quiet that I enjoy. cup of tea is being boiled so let's go and have a brew and one of those cakes. Oh, just enough. Look at that. Hey, hey, I did well. Well judged. After a cup of tea and some jam tarts, we then headed back to Richard's in Worthing. Here, I took the opportunity to have a chat to him about some of the topics he's been talking about on his YouTube channel. I mean, all of this is really a, a move to get rid of motor cars completely because they think that you can carry on just being on a bike and, a, and, and walk. I'll be releasing my interviews with Richard over the coming days. After my visit, I went down to the seafront to take in the sea air and enjoy the sunshine. Thanks for joining me and thank you to Richard and the lovely Julia for a beautiful day out.